Well, hello there, friends, and welcome to Lies Beneath. I'm playing today on my Oculus Rift S. So, it's time. You guys know how pumped I've been to try out Lies Beneath, and of course I would be, because you all know how I feel. Evil games are my favorite. They're the best in VR, and this one promises to be excellent. I'd like to thank our friends at Drifter Entertainment for granting Roots and I review access to the game. And with that said, let's check it out. Alright, so we're going to go with smooth motion. It says first person movement, which I think is interesting because if you look, there's an option here to go third person with it. Excellent. Anyway, we're going with smooth motion. Turn speed all the way up. And uh, everything else I think looks pretty good. So let's just confirm that. We're going to go on normal. Yes, we're going to play normal. Okay, so immediately my first impressions here is I, I can definitely tell that this is Drifter this interesting realm that I'm in to start off the game is strikingly similar in feel to Gunheart, their other title, which is excellent as well. Yep, we're going to do that. Pause menu if you want to change stuff, certainly. Check this out, Valve. Groundbreaking idea here. Click in the thumbstick to run. Amazing! Revolutionary concept. Look down to see your belt holsters and grab your lighter. All day, every day, baby. Now, this is important. It says the embers from the lighter will guide you. So you light your lighter and literally you judge which way to go by what way the, uh, the wind's blowing. So when you come to a you know, crossroads like this, your lighter will guide you and tell you where to go. Cool concept. Well, it looks like we have some bushes to walk through here. Ah! And they hurt me pretty badly. I mean, look at that. It's like this glove is like full on OJ. If your hands become bloody, you have lost health. Eat food to regain it. Now, this is something all that always amuses me about video games is you can get, you know, shot and stabbed and bloodied up pretty badly. But all you have to do to heal yourself, eat. An apple a day keeps the doctor away and just like that we are healed someone phoned the press I think I have the cure for the coronavirus all we need is an apple oh got a wand grab objects and release objects near your hip to holster them well Oculus Repero Didn't work. I found a cadaver. Eh, guess I gotta go back to Hogwarts. Turn the page to begin. Now, how cool is this? I've always wanted to uh, be able to step into the pages of a comic book. That's literally what, what we're doing here. Frightful felicitations, fear fans. I've got a malignant masterpiece that is sure to mangle your minds. A young university student returns home, but will this haunting homecoming be a happy one? May's been putting this trip off for a long time, but now... She's all out of excuses, and she's got no choice. It's time to go home. 
and I want to point out I know you guys can't really tell what this looks like on the flat screen but the pages of the comic are full on 3D if they would make and sell comic books inside VR and they look like this I would 100% pay for them and, and buy them and, and read them because that is just awesome looking all right, let's turn the page. How was the ferry? It was all right. That's good. The weather's been strange lately. And when the boat was late, honestly, Dad, I'm more worried about you driving around in this hunk of junk. Very funny, kid. Again, the 3D, layered 3D uh, comics here are just... Uh, cool looking hey do you have the lighter I gave you huh oh yeah but you know I don't smoke it's not just for that May it's been in the family for a long time and it's time you learn the truth watch out <laughs> Just like that, freezing water presses in like frozen knives. She claws at the water. Impossible to know the difference between up and down. But somehow, she draws the energy she didn't even know she had. She lives. Chapter 1 end of the road the blood in my gloves begins to freeze and I feel it crack as it meets the cold air I try to shout for my dad but my throat fails me my lungs burn with the effort the smell of burning rubber snaps my mind into focus and suddenly I am gripped with sudden panic dad's still in the car daddy Okay, so this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about stepping into the pages of a comic book because that's literally what this looks like and when I was new to VR and I saw you know games like the Mitchin Hunter and Wanted Killer VR uh, I wanted an experience that was really like stepping into a comic book but those as cool as they were didn't really give you the full-on uh, comic experience and I feel like this one's delivering that because look at this absolutely amazing looking I clamber away from the stone and ice and find easier footing there's a path here So I got to try this out earlier today, or actually yesterday, on my Oculus Quest, and so far I can see zero difference visually, which isn't such a bad thing, because like I said, this game looks amazing. I feel a tightening in my chest and suddenly I know I'm being watched. I hold back a cry for help. Something isn't right here. See that? Someone's watching. Hey! Help! No? What a jerk. The car is totaled. Fire is consuming the very place I sat minutes ago. It's empty. Dad! Where are you? Is this blood yours? All this blood leads away. At least you survived the accident. Why didn't you look for me? Now, 
I don't know what makes May think Daddy isn't looking for her. I mean, obviously, the car is next to a cave. Where's the first place he's going to look, right? In the cave. It's so dark. I can't. I can't make my way through. I look down. Yes! I still have Dad's lighter. Yeah. As I thought might be the case, this thing is absolutely identical to the Oculus Quest version. The only difference being the uh, screen technology in the uh, Oculus Quest allows for a little bit deeper black levels. So this doesn't seem so cloudy as it does right now. But it looks absolutely amazing on both. So that isn't such a bad thing. So we're in a cave here full of like roots and vines. Following the path that the lighter is leading us through. Link, trying to make sense of what I'm seeing. This shit is good. to a hospital room. This must be the hiding place of Osama bin Laden. We wondered how he lasted on in the uh, mountains of Afghanistan uh, on dialysis all those years. Well, this is how. Tora Bora Medical Facility, friends. And just like that, the apparition disappears. So pretty. Memory stir. Slippery fingers grabbing an empty air. And this doll needs. It needs to burn. Burn it! in Tora Bora. Only it's a lot colder. What the hell? <laughs> Shit! It's a good one. Well done. Those things in there couldn't be real. How bad did I hit my head? All right, so we're outside again and uh, the ambient sound has taken a new tone and suddenly I feel more relaxed. Uh, one of the most striking features of this game, one of the things that's the most well done and as much as I like the, the graphical art style, I think the game's strength really is the uh, the sound design. This thing is just phenomenal at building tension through the sound. And any great horror game is in VR, anyway. All of the grip, the, the best ones use uh, use sound design to uh, create tension. The lighter's telling me to go the other way, so we're gonna go the other way. Huh. Maybe there's some kerosene left. 
It says light lanterns to save a checkpoint. So that's a cool mechanic that they've got going on here. Is uh, burn things to save your game. And I would just burn things just to burn them. Check out that uh, crow or raven or whatever. My heart rate starts to slow as I take in my surroundings. These woods are not how I remember them. But check it out. The path is blocked. You can see this other side just right there. But I'm told not to go this way by my handy dandy lighter. So we're going to just continue down the beaten path. The village I grew up in isn't far. I remember camping here as a child, just dad and I. Him laughing at his jokes. Me not laughing at his jokes. This place feels weird now. Like it's sick. Oh no, the woods have the corona. My, 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 my corona. I hope they're okay. Well, it looks like we have a missing persons flyer here. And it looks pretty dated. Just in the like the look of the people on it. They look they don't look like people from 2020. They look like people from 1963 or something. Let's take a look at this thing here. The paper feels brittle in my hands. Like one spark would make it burst into flames. Oh. So, uh, is that a big enough hint? Like one spark would make it burst into flames. Hmm. Whoa, check that out. Nice penmanship. I stand what it says. Authorities are investigating the disappearances of local teenagers Betty Jean O'Dell and Harris Gorky. Camping in the woods is prohibited until further notice. And look on the back. That's got to be some kind of a clue, right? What does it mean? No idea. But if we take this as right side up, then that would be big dot in the middle, small dot at 9 o'clock. Well, we'll try to remember that. I don't think I have any kind of a inventory backpack or anything that will allow me to take it with me. I have holster spots for weapons, but... This won't go there. So we'll just put it back on the tree. All burned and evil looking. You know, um, I want to commend whoever. Oh, chapter 2 The Great Outdoors. Where's that bird at? It's Freaking loud. Oh, check it out. There's a whole flock. That's cool. I'd like to commend whoever uh, came up with the uh, concept here. And not really just the concept, but the execution of it. The artwork, the, the writing in the uh, narrative here. It's all, um, you know, I, I collected and read comic books for many years as a young man. And I can tell that whoever did this, the lead designer behind this game, uh, did as well. Because it reads and looks authentic. You know, it looks like a real book. It reads like a real book. 
Like literally, twenty-year-old me would just be as excited as forty-year-old me is to play it. I guess I, I should say. A campsite. I call out for help, and my voice dies alone in the crisp winter air. Only silence greets me back. So we have an abandoned campsite here. In case you didn't catch it, the uh, the fire, the big fire, has the same effect as the lantern, only it heals me as well. So by lighting that, my hands are clean. My OJ isotoners are pristine and new again. We see some uh, traps over here with some mystery meat hanging on it. Ew. Gross. This has been hanging here a while. Did one of the hunters leave it? What a waste. Looks like somebody left my baby backs over here to turn. How rude. Especially in a time like this where people are starving. Can't buy any food or toilet paper. Oh, here's the, uh, the other side of the path. See? The forbidden path. We're not allowed to go that way because that's not where the words are. Ah, more meat. And it's fresh this time. These people need to seriously clean up after themselves. Wait, is that a head? A human head? Yeah, it's only got one eye, too. Rest in peace, Glenn. Well, I can say that um, some of this stuff, it's rendered out better in the, uh, the PC headset. Probably because I've got the super sampling jacked up, you know, 150%. But, uh, I mean, there's, there isn't more detail, but it, like the, uh, it has a reflective sheen in the rift that I didn't notice in the quest. It's really cool looking. Now this is intimidating. That took some work to do. Hey, look at that. It's nuts. Oh, and these are... I didn't even notice this before. Wow. These people do not discriminate, do they? They just kill anything that moves. attention to what the sound is doing now, what the audio. Holy shit. Holy crap. What the hell is that? There it goes. <laughs> pay attention to my ladder and where I'm supposed to be going. Ah. 
Kill myself. <laughs> oh, brother. What the world is that? Looks like Jason Voorhees or something. Like the original one. Yep. Back to. Traveling OJ style again, I guess. I gasp for breath. My lungs on fire. Stay focused, May. Still a long way from home. And that thing is still out here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Big steak. Big T-bone steak. So hungry. I'll feel better if I eat something. That worked. I'm not even going to eat the whole thing. I wonder if I can cook it. It actually looks really good. <laughs> Give me a big thick steak. Wow, just take it all down in one bite, why don't you? All right, I guess I'm feeling fit as a fiddle now. Another lantern. So cool. I can't get over how cool it is, the whole comic book vibe. Oh crap. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Oh my goodness. A gun. I shouldn't take it. Of course I should take it. But I need this more than you, buddy. Right, let's get this ammo here first. Where's that gun? Missing shots. It makes me angry. I feel like Rick. My big revolver. It's like I'm underwater. Listen. It's crazy. Maybe I'm underwater still. This is just a nightmare.
Look at the pond frozen over. So cool. Can't expect to find much ammo out here. Better use it sparingly. Well, you're talking to the right dude. We'll talk about being conservative with the ammo. How can I move? Oh, it ran through a bear trap. I think I see one in the mist over there, but the words are over here, so we must be on the right track, right? Almost home. All that blood at the crash. There's no way Dad made it back all the way here, is it? Leave me alone. All that blood at the crash. There's no way Dad made it back. Is there? Make sure I'm going the right way. I am not. I'm gonna go this way. Clean, so I guess I'm all right. Chapter three: Light on a Hill. Okay, so when I played on Quest yesterday, this was as far as I made it. So from this point forward, friends, it's actually all new to me. Apple, but I don't think we need it. A suitcase here. Oh, what is this? An axe. I'm sure someone boarded this up for a reason. Oh well. A few swings and I'm closer to home. Well, now I can get through boards. Next, we want to go back to that other path. But I'm not going to. Oh, cool. It's shiny. Awesome. I wish I could put... What the hell is that? I don't know what it is, but it sounds big and it sounds mean. Is it 
that guy. Sure if that's actually him or I hope my lighter does not tell me to go over there. Oh crap, I took too long. Okay. We're alright. Apparently you can't linger here. It's an outhouse. That's what it looks like. Man, the sound design is so good. Traps. We have a crate. With a sandwich in it. <laughs> That'll work. Mm, I'll take it. A sandwich in a crate. We have a hook. I think I'm going to have to just shoot that guy to get back over there. So I really don't feel like having to go through all the trouble. Feel like um, like Evil Dead. <laughs> Bonafide badass with my axe and my pistol. Although I used way more ammo there than I would have liked. Hopefully, there's some more over here. What the hell? Seriously? That's my last round. Like, literally. I have no more. What is that? Come on, man. There we go. What is this? Ivory box. It's a lure object. Plus one revolver ammo unlocked at campfire. Okay. It's a collectible, but it actually has an impact on the game as well. That's pretty cool. So this isn't something that I'm supposed to be keeping, right? No. 
As long as I found it, it doesn't matter where I leave it. Let go. Can I not pass it from hand to hand? I can sure drop it. It's glitched out for a minute. Alright, I need to find this campfire that it's speaking of. Alright, water. Show me the way. This is where I was just at, right? With all the bear traps. Really? Right, we got some pistol ammo there. That's super handy. How many? Five? I'll take it. I guess I should try to lure these guys through the bear traps more because it will get them. day you can see our lighthouse from here the lighthouse has been in my family's responsibility for generations dad's been the wiki dad's been the wiki for as long as I can remember please be there dad so I think she just said that her dad is a wookie and that tells me that we must be on indoor and that just don't make no sense. All right, yeah, I see you there. I'm coming. Gonna eat me an apple first. There we go. Good shape now. Oh, look at it wriggling. Look at the view. That is freaking amazing. Nice sense of presence here. I don't trust it. Alright. We're going to go ahead and save here. And I think that this is a pretty good place to stop. So what did you think, friends? I think that this is an awesome, spooky... Frick. What the hell? I think it's awesome to be able to step into the pages of a, a horror comic book. I feel like that the uh, graphical uh, art style is beautiful. I think it's perfect uh, to uh, perfectly tailored for this type of game for Oculus Quest because, as I said before, uh, this game looks identical on Oculus Quest. It may even look a little bit better because of the OLED screen. Anyway, uh, the sound design absolutely phenomenal. Uh, when you put it all together, it makes for a, uh, a beautifully evil experience. So be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you've liked what you've seen here, click the like button, subscribe, and don't forget the notification bell. Uh, are we going to do another gameplay? Well, that depends on you, friends. Do you want to see more of this game? If so, be sure to leave a comment down below, and I may carry on and do a uh, full playthrough for you guys, if you want to see it. Uh, just let me know in the comments down below, and I will uh, carry on, most likely on my gameplay channel. Uh, link is in the description for that. Anyway, 
I want to thank all of you all for watching. And I will see you another day, friends, from another game. What, really? Unbelievable.